Hello guys, this is Quick. Uh, this is Logitech Quick Cam Communicate MP Plus, which stands after model number, I believe, S5500, as it was supposed to say in the manual. And here's me, here's my movements. This is Skype test, which is 320 by 240, and was recorded on tomorrow's video capture with my software. And you can see mic is built into the camera, so you can hear the audio quality. And here is the zoom in and zoom out and as well I have two sources of light alright let me go ahead and uh, test the camera at the full screen as it's supposed to do with the software that it came and I'm gonna switch to another uh, cameras well let's go ahead and move on alright guys this is the video recording of the Logitech uh, quick cam MP plus uh, S5500 series uh, from the Logitech software and the video is set to 96720 in HD uh, recording in WMV uh, 2200 kilo BPS and um, as you can see the quality is excellent actually I'm gonna take my words back and I'm gonna say that uh, the MP Plus S5500 series uh, webcam from Logitech is the best and it's 49 bucks and this is 50 bucks uh, not bad for the two source of lighting and please check my HD from the GVC HD camera that cost $500 to compare that video to this video and as you can see motion is not that bad on this camera and uh, the everything else is not that bad even uh, the outline of my shape is not that pixelated uh, I think I fixed that problem just to install the drivers from this camera and then you can use it in Skype, but also the MP Plus and the IP Plus E3500 series for the IP Plus and MP Plus S5500 series uh, using the series uh, cover recognition and Windows UFC uh, Windows drivers for the webcams can recognize those two cameras and but it cannot recognize the quick cam uh, chat or Microsoft I, I was not like happy when my UVC Windows Service Pack 3 driver didn't recognize the Microsoft camera so I need to install the drivers from the CD but anyway CD is always there and I like this camera I think this camera is awesome and um, you can see it's not that bad it's not good, it's not bad, it doesn't have that out of focus uh, it doesn't have that manual focus ring on the camera it's doing the out of focus and it's doing a, a good job so thank you f uh, so much for watching this and let's move to the next camera thank you so much and it's 49.99 bucks and I believe uh, I am plus which is E3500 will give it a fight but the quality is not going to be as as clear as this on IM plus we're gonna have just a little bit of noise on the video maybe not that uh, sharpness but we're gonna uh, see some noise well thank you so much for watching I'm gonna move to the next camera alright guys this is a test of the Microsoft webcam live game a live cam uh, VX3000 and this is a Skype test 320 by 240 recorded with most video capture and I found it is difficult on the camera to adjust the focus software doesn't uh, have that ability to adjust the focus from the software so from the distance it's kinda hard to adjust on the camera on the camera ring that focus ring it's kinda hard when you by yourself so this is a big disadvantage by Microsoft. You need to make sure that your software cannot can. It's cannot right now, but you need to make sure it can adjust the focus from the distance by the software. So 
I am with the wireless setup can do this without being close to the camera and adjust it and go over the distance and then see me right again I need to readjust multiple times well thank you so much let's move on and test it 640 by 480 in Microsoft software well I will see you alright guys this is a test of Microsoft uh, live cam VX3000 and from the Microsoft software and you saw that red screen from the beginning it was recorded with Microsoft software can you imagine that it wasn't recorded with mouse video capture I was using the uh, Microsoft software that came with the webcam to record that video in the screen resolution is 640 480 software lets you allow to change that the maximum 640 by 480 and she records the video in Windows Movie Video at, at about a 2000 kilobit a second bitrate doesn't allow you to change that plus doesn't allow you to change the extension only Windows Movie Video no ADI no anything else this is and also microphone built in into the camera has a big noise uh, so noise and the uh, focusing ring this is the big disadvantages of that Microsoft product and here's the focusing and also that's what Microsoft called the best called called the superior video quality recording so okay alright well I don't call this as a superior video recording quality and let's go ahead and move to the next webcam thank you so much alright guys and that's how it's look like with the HD camera so with the real HD camera so you can see the difference I can my motion and my uh, audio and video synchronization and this is my HD camera and I have the same lighting here two sources of light my room light and my monitor light so that's how it's look like so you will have an idea where we're looking at and webcams unfortunately was doing like not 30 frames per second well manufacturing was stated at 30 frames per second but per all the webcams that I was tested tested today but unfortunately they didn't look like 30 frames per second it was look like 10 or 15 frames per second and audio and video on some of them wasn't perfectly synchronized and motion